what's up dudes so today i'm going to show you guys on how to clone trail you know like those cool like snowboarding like trail clones they like ride into the trail of the clone or whatever and it's just a video of it smooth buttery smooth well i'm going to show you guys how to do that i'm going to head over to my wife's parents house after i'm done making this food prepping my stuff i'll get some shots of the dogs doing cool jumpy tricks these guys right here Say hi. Hello. They're like, dude, I'm eating right now, bro. Um, and then we'll come back here and I'll sit down at the computer and I'll show you guys how to do it step by step. All right, let's do this. <sighs> What's up guys, so now we're back at home and I'm gonna hop into the program to show you guys how to clone trail your videos. It'd be pretty sick. I noticed in my last video that these headphones were like the rubber piece was broken. It was like flapping in the back. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I looked like a total goober, but I ripped it off. So let's go ahead and hop into the program here. We are in Adobe Premiere Pro. The sequence settings for this, just because I already created the project, it's called Clone Trail. So editing mode for the sequence settings, we're gonna do custom. We're gonna do 1080p at 30 frames a second, the 29.97. Square pixels, fields, no fields. Blah, blah, blah. 48 hertz for the sample rate. Um, and that's fine, that's good enough. We'll say okay, we're good. So this is what I was talking about with the clone trail. So in this, you'll see how I cloned my dog, Gunner, four times. And what's gonna happen is he's gonna run into frame and as he hits each of those clones, they dis the clones disappear and it becomes the actual video. So just, it's a clone trail, kind of like you see in like snowboarding and stuff like that. So what you're gonna <laughs> wanna do is use a tripod. It's gonna make your life so much easier. It keeps those shots steady and able to do the cloning. You can do it moving the camera, but it's gonna make your life so much harder to do. Just use a tripod, put it on there, press play, do whatever you, wa you want in the frame, whatever you want in the frame of the camera and then bring it into Adobe Premiere Pro and start masking it out. And I'm gonna show you what to do. This is what I came up with. So we have him running in, hits that first clone, second clone, third clone, and then the fourth clone and then goes out of frame. Perfect. I'm gonna show you how to do just do two clones, kind of give you the idea so it's kind of so it's quick what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this if you want to know how to copy clips you hold alt click and drag copied boom so we have that clip technically what you want to do is drag and drop your clip into the timeline and then it'll create that sequence for you for whatever the resolution was and so forth so what you want to do is you want to go through here and kind of pick out the spots that you think are the coolest for the clone trail and where you want the clone to be. Right here is probably fine, because we're just gonna do two, and I'm just gonna show you kind of the idea of how to do it, just to make this video a little bit faster. I'm gonna choose this clip. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to this export frame. It looks like a little camera right here underneath the video. You click on that, and then you have that imported into the project. So you import that into the project, and then you drag it to the timeline. Where that is exactly you need to have it cut or stop right where that's at it's just going to show the screenshot because it's on top of the actual clip once you start masking we'll get into that we have that first one and then he starts moving forward and we're going to have him jumping in midair we'll do that one that one looks fine to me you're going to want to take another screenshot we're just doing two so you want to take your second screenshot and import this also into the project you grab that, drag it above the previous one, drag the clip and make it the same for where you took the screenshot. We're gonna start on the top and work our way down. You want to zoom in on the picture. I'm gonna do 200%, put 
probably make life a little bit easier on myself. All right, so once we're zoomed in, we're gonna wanna go over to this opacity over underneath the effects controls tab, and you wanna click on the pen tool for masking. And we're gonna go ahead and start masking. You don't need to create any keyframes for this, you just need a mask around the clone that you want to stay still through the entire clip. We'll go ahead and start masking this out. And, and what you're gonna notice is when you're masking, sometimes it won't let you click super close. You're gonna have to click out here and then drag it in. Also, another pro tip, if you hold Alt on these that you drop, you can make them rounded. Just kind of like in the last video I showed you guys. If you want to round stuff. Right now, we're just gonna be kind of fast with this. And as soon as I'm done, masking this off I will be right back all right boom so there we go uh, what you want to do is don't have it be feathered so much maybe do like a five not not too much don't feather it too much it'll take away from some of those harsh lines but then as we go ahead and just fit this to the screen you're gonna see that I mask around that and you'll see him in that frame now so as soon as he hits that clone, it'll disappear and go straight into the next clip. So that'll be in there. All right, so now on the next screenshot that we took right below the last screenshot that we just masked out, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in 200%. And I'm gonna start again masking around his face and then I'll just trail all the way around. But you wanna go to the effects control panel again. Underneath the opacity, hit that pen tool. We're not gonna be keyframing, so just hit the pen tool and you're good to go. And then start masking your screenshot. All right, and then with this one as well, we're gonna go ahead and hit five on that mask feather down there. Boom! There we go. There's the clone trail right there. So hopefully that was easy to follow along with. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I look at 99% of them. <laughs> I should just say 100%. But comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any more ideas on what you wanna learn or just whatever it may be, go ahead and let me know and I'll try to make a video about it if I'm not doing another edit of some sort. But if you enjoyed the video, please slap that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It supports the channel. And yeah, hit that bell too. It notifies you when I upload videos. Peace out.